it was a very difficult day for a lot of people here in Hong Kong, especially for the thousands of protesters who took to the streets once again. Of course, this is together with the Sunday's protest, one of the biggest show of force, a show of objection to what the Hong Kong government is trying to do, change the law to add mainland China onto its extradition list. You know, this is really one of the biggest civil actions since the handover in 1997. And uh, I, I believe you're looking at some footage from uh, earlier today. Uh, you, we did detect some violence used by the police officers using tear gas on many occasions, as well as batons to uh, really control the protesters as well as clear out the streets. Uh, it certainly looks like in this uh, main central business uh, district area, uh, the clear, uh, streets have been uh, cleared out, but uh, it certainly uh, looks like the protesters are not really being swayed by uh, this uh, you know, show of force by the police. Uh, at this point, uh, the protesters are saying, uh, retract this bill. Uh, they did manage to lead the Hong Kong Legislative Council, uh, which was supposed to do a legislative debate today to scrap that plan. So nothing happening today. But the government is not really uh, getting any statement out at this point. So uh, it certainly looks like if that's not uh, the Hong Kong government is not budging. By the way, it has the backing of the mainland Chinese government. In fact, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of China saying just over the last couple of hours that it fully supports the amendment of the extradition law in Hong Kong. Guys, back to you.